Uh, you mentioned the closing of the recent consultation on the development of a uh, revised EU strategy. Perhaps it's a little bit early, but can you tell me, were there any surprises in that? Did anything come out of that that you had not perhaps anticipated or an emphasis that you'd perhaps been underplaying before? Well, it's, it's interesting because we, we got input from such an enormous range of people that I think every base was covered, really. I mean, we, we had a lot of um, concerned citizens. They were the the first people to to respond because they they were you know i think organizations and governments have to consult a lot more so we had a lot of individuals coming in and there was um there uh, a lot of people looking from very much the environmental perspective asking us to sort of close down the arctic that we should mm -hmm. stop extracting resources or whatever so uh, i think sometimes there's a uh, um a lack and it's possibly our failure there's a lack of understanding of, as i said earlier about what the eu can and cannot do but we really had the full range. There, there was a lot of uh, agreement that the three priority areas are still very relevant. But I think um, the you know there's a, there's a lot of call for more measures on the green transition. There was a lot of talk about alternative fuels. Um, and on the other side of the coin, uh, a lot of discussion about how we can do economic development in a very in a very sustainable way. So I didn't I didn't come across anything that, that surprised me, but I suppose the great thing is that we had such a wide range of views that we can really, you know, look at the full spectrum when we come to, to boil them down into, into our final final work on the paper.